Hello everybody. Today I'm sharing a journal that I've just finished with you. This journal is a pink floral journal. Some of you may recall I made this cover for a design team project for BB Craft. I've since just changed it up a little bit. Sometimes when you look at things several times you you might you know have a change of heart and do something a little bit different so I removed one of the pink flowers and I put this flower here and added some more flowers to it as well. I also speckled the background of it using some gold paint and just a black biro. Um, I'll get that up close just so you can see that effect. And so that's the front and that's the back added some little mother of pearl buttons as well and I finished off the little skirt that's underneath it as well. So that is the cover of the journal. The spine is about one and a quarter inches thick and it's you could call it a soft cover. I have the closure and it is with uh, I think two different types of tool in four layers. Okay, I'll have to put on the screen how many pages are in here because I haven't counted them. I completely forgot to count them, so we'll go through it now. We have a lovely vintage um, millinery flower that came off a, oh, what do they call it, like a, just a headband, a very vintage headband. one of these things it's it's very old and the flowers are very um, soft and slightly a little bit skew if but I really like them so the inside is covered with this lovely floral fabric it's a sheer fabric there are lots of tags and tuck spots throughout this journal there's also lots of machine stitching so in our first pocket here, it is made out of a cereal bag liner, a cereal, cereal bag. Um, and then I've added this lovely embroidery on glaze. We have a little seed packet here. And inside there, there are a couple of ephemera pieces that you are able to use to write on the back of or in some sort of collage or just decorating the pages in general. I folded some music paper over the top of the, um, the cereal bag just to add strength to it. And we have another tag here and I have used papers from Lavish Laces I received two different kits over the last few months that contained paper, um, like, well actually I've received three, but this is out of two different kits, and so I thought I would use up what was left, because there was a lot of pink things. So that is one tag using that paper, and this gorgeous vintage trim, and then I have some old new music paper here and I've just put this lovely embroidered braid at the top of that and that is another tag. There are two signatures in this journal. So we have that's from one of the collections. They're too good not to use, you know, it's they're just lovely. And then the little tickets and things like that you'll see throughout. I did splatter some of the pages with the gold paint as well and I did that because a lot of these ephemera pieces have little gold splats on them as well and I just thought it would tie it all in. In this little envelope I have put some lovely flower stickers that can be used throughout the journal. This little envelope was part of one of the collections and that just folds around like that and clips on. I've still got a bit of glue on my hands, I am sorry. Okay, I've got some calligraphy paper there. That's the other side of the envelope. A lovely tag. You remember I did some screen printing on some paper, so I've used it as tags. A little collage on the tuck spot there as well. 
more paint splatters and just odds bits of paper. You can, I like to do that because it just gives a little space that if you're journaling you could put something special on there and it kind of just brings it to the front more. We have a little tag here that I've previously made um, on my channel and I thought it just matched this journal perfectly. I think I added a bow to it. And there we go, more of one of the paper collections. How pretty is that? Oh no, no, this is um, some paper from Timu, I think, this one. And then some, that stenciling done on vintage paper. And it actually stuck to the paper too much, but I did manage to salvage it. And I really like the look that gives. There we go, a little bit of stamping. Just another piece from one of the collections because they come with all these little postcards and things like that and they've all been stitched around and backed. This is another just a fun little pocket here with some ephemera inside that you can use throughout the journal. Just some little pieces there in that little pocket. That goes on that lovely paper clip like that, which has some fabric and a lovely long bead there as well. The collage. That's just a folded piece of floral paper. It is backed and stitched and folded over the page. Just a lovely little die cut down the bottom there. And stamping another little cutout from one of the collections. They are Frank Garcia papers and they are available I think on Jay Zeller's website. I'll put a link to Lavish Laces in the description box below. Um, it's not really a design project but I am using things that were sent to me so just another piece of paper there backed and stitched. And then we come to the centre here. It's just a little feature piece, some lace from Lavish Laces, and I've stitched on a button, and I've got these really pretty little pink bulb pins there. Just sticker and stitching, stamping. Little collage, another lovely tag here using some of that um, BB craft lace on that one. And that is a, oh, what is that? That's, I think it's a folk art pattern. Lovely pages once again. And this is also a tuck spot under there. I just haven't put anything in it. More paint splattering. Another lovely tag here with a flower and some glitter. Little sticker. Another little tag. And then there's a napkin, decoupage napkin piece there. Most of the pages have been tea stained if they were a light colour. This one is just a lovely piece of marbled kind of mottled paper and didn't need tea staining. This is a little pouch I made quite some time ago and thought it could find a home in this um, journal. And I've put a collection of these just paper pieces like this and they're a lot of fun to use in journals. You can either write on them as they are or rip them up and collage with them. There we go. And then this is the centre. I have a paper bag in the centre here. 
and that's the tag on the front. I use, this is just a, it's vellum, this belly band, and it was a, it was packaging for something else, and so I took it off whatever it was on and put it here. It's got a little tinge of pink in it, and then up the top here we have a nice big long tag with half a doily and this lovely um, like string bow and that just slides in there like that and then the center some more of that uh, music paper stenciled music paper like that piece there there's the other side and then in the center here I have a little book on the front there's a tag like that and then I've just used you know off cuts of paper and things like that in here the washi tape and just a little booklet there's some stickers in here It is held in place by some tool um, that you can, you know, just undo and take the little booklet out and write in it and then put it back if you want. I won't undo that now because it gets a bit fiddly to um, do that, but it, you know, it does come out. And then another little piece in the back there and a bit of stamping. And then another one of those large tags on the back. They're the same as the other one. And another small tag there as well. Another one of these. And I've noticed the ink has come through in a couple of places. So I may, I may go back and put like a sticker or something like that over. I'm trying to think over the top to disguise that. I think I will. I'll just give you an idea of what I mean. While we're here, just finding something pretty I could probably use to disguise something like that but it'll have to be in the pink tones where did it go it was there wasn't it I could put something that might be a bit big yeah that's probably a bit big let me see what we got even do something like this just have something like that on there and that way you could write a little note in it as well you could that one's not too bad there I might just pop that there now and I noticed there was one a bit earlier too all right I'm going to put that there and that can be a nice little note and I'll leave that out and if I go back and find the other one then I can attach it maybe I'll enclose a couple in the journal as well yes because I used the um, a different ink Another little cluster of um, laces and a button there. Little tag. And 
We have another envelope here. And this envelope has lots of little stickers and things, pink stickers in here, and a little uh, note card as well. So that's nice. Um, that way, whoever gets this journal can continue decorating and have something to decorate with if they want to or use it on a different project. Lovely piece of ephemera there from the collection. It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah, see, it doesn't go through on the thicker paper. Another tag, another belly band under here and another a journal card there. Some more calligraphy paper. And that's the centre. I did bind it with pink um, linen thread, waxed linen thread. Another card there and there. I used strips of paper just to decorate as well and collage. Did that go? No, that's fine. Another little pocket there with some papers inside of it. More stamping. Another tag. Little hydrangea petal with some glitter and collages. Another lovely tag, using different papers on the back of them. A little die cut and then, oh, this one's quite full. We've got a little tuck spot here. And we have a vintage ticket. We have an off cut from the paper collection. Have a tag here with some lovely flowers. And then in here I have a little collection of vintage style stickers in this lovely little envelope. So it's a nice little collection there of stickers to decorate in the journal or however you would like to use them. There we go. And then on the last page, it's decorated like the first page. We have our music paper tag with, with actually some hand um, markings on there as well with the embroidered ribbon. And this is a little um, pocket thing I made a while ago. There we go, it's just made out of book paper and it has it has like a handmade tissue paper over the top. It's a while since I made it, so I'm trying to remember what I made it out of. And it's just a journal spot, a trifold journal card with a rub on in the centre there. So that's what that is. And that sits nicely in the back pocket there, like that. And that's the end. So I hope you like this journal. It will be for sale in my Etsy store. And I will go back through and make sure we don't have um, any ugly, you know, stamp. Like that one's all right because you can barely see it. So that's fine. But like that other one that I covered, like see that one's a bit bright. So I need to have a sticker to go there. So I might put that one there. Like that. There we go. And we'll need something there as well, I think. A different one. Let's see what else we've got. That's really pretty, isn't it? But I don't think that's going to cover it. Let's 
see what else we've got. I'm trying to keep to the pink, otherwise I'd use a pretty yellow rose, but it's yellow. What's that one? Is that one? And I don't mind it being a bit shiny. It's got the gold on it, like the gold flecks. I wonder if that one will work. All right. I think so. I do. So we'll use that one on there. I'm not sure if there were any other ones. It just distracts from it a little bit. Let's have a quick look. Might as well do it together. That one's all right. I don't mind if it's just a little tiny bit, but it's when it's really distracting that I don't like. It doesn't come through on the thicker paper, so. A little bit there. I know what I can do. Uh, I'll leave those out and include them. In the journal, I'll pop them. I shall pop them in there so I don't forget. There we go. So this one here, just, I will... tin of flowers I could put just a couple of flowers not just one I don't think I think um, oops I put three here we go I don't think they're the same um, font. That one's probably better. Okay. So these are pre-glittered. So if I put that there like that, it's a little bit less... Um, ...obvious. And I don't think there's any more. Because we already went through the other way. That. Like that. And like that. Okay, that just got a little bit wet, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing through the journal. It's <laughs> kind of took me a while to make. Been busy, been very doing lots of different things and just um, it happens every so often doesn't it life takes a little bit of a different turn but hopefully I will be crafting a little bit more from now on so it's quite full as you can see but it's quite lovely and of course it wouldn't be this full if you took some of the things out, which is quite easy to do. That's the top, that's the bottom there. So let me just tie it all together. Just like that, just pull all the layers apart and fluff it up a little bit and it should be fine. So there we go, the lovely vintage pink journal. Thank you so much for watching today and take care everybody. Bye.